Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly review Trash Sailors. This is a game that's coming to Steam on December 16th, 2021. I am recording this a day prior, so everything that you're about to see, for the most part, should be reflective of the finished product, but there might be a last minute patch or two. Um, as an example, I got this developer console pop-up with some errors on it, probably just a, a pre-release build kind of thing. So what is Trash Sailors? Well, when I received my press email and my press key, it was sort of described to me as like, use your hook and collect resources out of the water, repair your raft, refuel your ship. I'm like, hmm, this sounds a lot like Raft, a game I really like. So I'm like, I might as well give this a shot too. Well, it's interesting, um, but not what I expected. So there are two modes to this game. There's this single player slash cooperative story mode where you go to mission one, you complete it, mission two, complete it. And in these missions, you go from point A to point B, um, just constantly moving away from the camera, but you can steer left and right. And you're trying to avoid obstacles, refill your ship, and so on. And then there's an online uh, party mode, which is sort of like a, a regular sandbox experience, I guess. I haven't been able to test it out because it won't let me play it with a single player uh, only. So, like, I'm sitting here trying to test the game out, and I can't do it. It won't let me start the online party mode. I can, I can get into it, I can select my character, but I can't hit the play button. That might be a bug, or it might be a limitation to the game. Maybe you need two or more people to play that mode. I don't know. Um, so, what are you doing in this game? Well, again, on the story mode, based on what I've tested, you're thrown onto this raft, and you're constantly moving forward. You get an AI bot if you're playing single player. This AI bot does not move around. You pick it up and put it somewhere. If you put it on the edge of the raft, it'll hook things out of the water and bring it to the raft. And then um, if you, and then you pick up that stuff and put it into your central processing unit called a grinder. Um, anyway, you can also pick up the bot, move it to the engine, and then you can use your left and right bumpers on your controller to steer. Controller recommended, of course. Um, so um, you can do that if you want with the bot, or if you're playing with other people, one person can do this, one person can do that. But primarily, you're hooking stuff out of the water, you're going to the engine and steering the ship. Um, another thing you're doing is taking stuff out of the water that is now on your raft and moving it to the central grinder and allowing it to process. There is like a little slot machine-esque diagram on the bottom that lists particular stuff that the grinder wants. So if you fill the grinder with those pieces of garbage, <laughs> uh, those exact pieces of garbage, you get a bonus to the materials that it gives you, as well as some golden screws or whatever they're called. These golden screws can be used in between levels to upgrade your raft uh, to make it better. So you can add better lights, you can add uh, better weapons. Yes, there are weapons in this game that you can fight off monsters and the like. Um, but there are various upgrades that you can um, attach to your boat as you continue playing via these golden screws or whatever they're called. But primarily, the whole gist of it is you're just going from one level to the next as quickly as you can uh, by keeping the engine fueled. And again, that's via material. Hooking stuff out of the water in order to do that. Um, you'll also receive damage on occasion, like tugboats will run into your ship or whatnot. Um, you take material out of the grinder, the finished stuff, and you go to the wrap part of the raft in question that's damaged, you interact with it, you repair it. Um, you can even replace lost pieces that way. And you may have to. Sometimes you'll be attacked by sharks or whatever. So, again, it, this isn't what I thought it would be. Um, raft is an open-world sandboxy experience with research, and it's more of a survival game. This is more of like a... I don't know. It's just... Uh, I think there was a game that I played with Ida Lee way back when. Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time where you're controlling like this underwater submarine, controlling multiple parts of the of the submarine at the same time. It, it kind of reminds me more of that in the sense that, again, this is more level-based than open sandboxy survival-based. So you need to keep that in mind before you decide to pick up this game. I feel like the, the balance is a bit off for single player. Like, it's still very hectic. I think this game shines with more than, you know, two people or more as a opposed to, you know, a single player trying to do all of this. So I just, I think the game doesn't scale very well. I, I felt very rushed and it's it's just a very hectic experience. With Wrapped, I can stop at any time I want to, uh, the, the boat that is, and I can just sit there and admire the scenery. In this game, it's constant movement. Once you start the engine, you can't stop it. You just keep going through the level. And I feel rushed. Uh, some things might, some levels might task me with collecting three of something for a bonus. 
Well, if I'm busy doing other things, I'll never get it. So it's like, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I don't like being rushed. I don't like that point A to point B mentality of never being able to stop. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I prefer wrapped over this. That being said, if you like what you see here, then by all means, pick it up. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.